Hey, Ali, um, hey, what's up, man? Hey, uh, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, you know, I guess just kind of talk about, you know, what, what you guys are facing this week with Auburn. And, you know, they're, they're obviously going to have two quarterbacks you guys are going to have to prepare for as a defensive line. Just uh, really the, the run game has been, you know, a huge part of this offense in their first couple of weeks. Just what, what are the conversations you guys are having as a defensive line about how to, you know, slow down the line and attack? I mean, going into the game, we know, um, you know, they're a big heavy run team. Uh, we know they have a tough quarterback. So um, the run game is definitely something we're going to have to stop. Um, you know, um, like everybody always says, you know, first you got to stop the run and have some fun. So, um, you know, that's something they're going to come in and, and bring on to us. And that's something we feel like we've done a, gr a pretty good job so far. Um, we just got to keep improving as we're going, this, going in this week because this is a tough matchup. Um, you know, Auburn, Auburn is a good team. Um, they have very talented players. and. So do we. So, um, you know, it's a good matchup for us, and we feel like this is a good challenge for us um, this week. Well, I know you're not probably going to have to run this often, but what was that like for you kind of going to that three-man front last weekend? And even if you don't run it again, are there, like, things you can gain from that? I mean, it was definitely an experience, um, but I mean, it was it was needed for um, for this for this la for last week's uh, matchup. You know, I feel like it helped us a lot. Um, it helped our secondary, you know, you know, build a fence, like, you know, coach is saying, and stop you know, stop most of their uh, pass plays. And I mean, it was it was a necessary sacrifice for us, you know, to be in a three-man front, you know, it, was, it wasn't much of a sacrifice. I, I say it was experience as well. Um, we definitely took some, some uh, something away from it. Um, but as long as, you know, it was, you know, it was gonna stop Mississippi State from, you know, passing every, every play and, you know, trying to get some yards. But um, I mean, it helped and uh, it was necessary for us to, you know, get away with the win. Ali, uh, this is your, your second season playing uh, with uh, Damone Clark, and I want to notice if you what changes or, or notice an elevation of his game have you you seen this year versus your, your first year with him? Uh, I mean, he's definitely stepped up in the leadership role, um, more confident and more more confidence in his game and how he attacks um, every every. You know, I call him a bulldog, but he doesn't really get. He thinks I'm, I'm making fun of him, but he's really like a. You know, he 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 likes. He, he's aggressive. You know, he wants to attack. He wants everything. Like he wants to make every play. Um, and that's that's the competitive spirit that I like in him, and I really appreciate and I admire him. I, I admire that about him because it kind of rubs up off me, and I kind of take some some things away from him to try to you know um, put put in my in my mental in, in every in every game I play. So um, I definitely appreciate having him as a teammate because you know um, he's definitely one of those players on the team that you want to have one of those players you want to have on your team and and uh, kind of lead the defense in in a way that you want it to go. Hey, Ali, well, this is, of course, your second season, but last year you didn't get to really experience the nighttime atmosphere of a prime game at LSU in a packed Tiger Stadium. What are you hoping to see Saturday? I mean, I know I know this is going to be a big game, so um, I'm, I'm hoping to see a full Tiger Stadium, you know, 100,000. Um, it'll be it'll be my first, you know, everybody been saying it's going it's to be my first, um, you know, packed Tiger Stadium, and I'm excited for it um, because I feel like the fans bring a lot to us. Um, a different kind of energy that you know boosts boosts our you know morale and our uh, you know our energy on the field. So I'm I'm definitely looking forward to it and seeing the uh, Tiger fans out there on Saturday night at eight o'clock. Yeah, Lee Wilson Alexander from the Advocate. Just and maybe you probably, we probably wouldn't have seen him much because he's behind you. But you know with Stingley out, Doug Abbott had to step up and he might have to sit it for you know how long Stingley's out. And yeah. Just what you kind of see from from his game uh, stepping into start for the first time this year. Oh, you mean Stingley or uh, Jay Ward? Dwight. Oh, Dwight. I mean, Dwight, yeah, he, he definitely has some bump, you know, on the road during camp. So he's worked his way back to uh, getting back on the field, you know. Uh, didn't expect him to come back so soon, but he's done so much work to, you know, work, work his ass out to get back on the field. And um, we feel like he, he did a lot of good, like got a lot of good things towards the end of the season last year. So, um, you know, so far right now, all he has to do is, you know, pick up right where he left off, and I believe that he can do so. Ali, as you remember, uh, back to Saturday, you know, Cordell had caught, caused an early fumble, and, uh, you know, Damone picked it up, and he, he actually kind of took himself to task. He thought he should have scored. You know, Andre <laughs> did that a couple weeks before. Did y'all give him any grief for not getting Oh, him? man, every Andre day, did? every day. I mean, um, I know he'll probably see this later on, but, I mean, I mean, I, I tell him every day, I'm like, man, everybody been telling him, like, you should have scored that. You know, Dre scored, you know, and he, he had the opportunity to score. And I'm telling him, like, if I get the opportunity, I don't, I don't care. Like, if I'm tired, my legs are about to fall off. I'm going to run. Uh, I'm going to run and take it to the house. So, 
I mean, he misses opportunities, so if I get the same opportunity, I don't care. I'm gonna feel like a running back and just, you know, take it to the house or something. But I mean, um, I, I, he he did a good job on 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 that, but he should have, you know, he should have. I think he should have scored, but I'm I won't let it go. I'm gonna keep getting on him about it. But um, yeah, I mean, that was a, that was a great play though. He made, you know, can't 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 knock it off. Um, Got to give him some credit for that. So he picked it off, you know, picked scoop to scoop, but he should have scored. <laughs> Thank you.